Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the Delos Waveform. This is a titanium dive watch from a micro brand out of Singapore. And I gotta say, this is one of the most interesting watches I've seen, and one of my favorites. Um, so, before we get into the full review, uh, I want to mention a couple things. This is a prototype version. One of the things that's changing is this bezel, and we'll get to that when we, when we get to it. Um, but the other big thing to note is that this comes on a full titanium bracelet now. So um, right now I've got it on one of my Tropic sta uh, straps because it just came on a black NATO. So just keep that in mind. If you want a uh, good review of the bracelet, I'll, I'll throw a link down um, in the description for one of the other reviewers that's uh, already had this on a, on a bracelet. So And also, this is a review unit. Like I said, I don't get to keep it. So this will be going on to the uh, the next reviewer here. But let's get into the review. The dimensions on this, it's got a 40 millimeter case, a 20 millimeter lug width. It is 13.7 millimeters thick. The overall case length is about 47 millimeters. So I think the dimensions really help in the wearability of this thing. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see the lugs hug really nicely. It, fits on the wrist nicely. I've got no problems with the way this thing wears. The case on this is really interesting. You see it's got a a brushed finish on the side. It's got a polished chamfer that kind of runs on the top edge of this thing. And then the tops of the lugs and the top of the crown guards are all brushed as well. And then you've got a nice machine finish on the, uh, the bezel teeth. A nice and grippy bezel too. Uh, and you also do have uh, drilled lugs so you can easily swap out that titanium bracelet. You've got a signed crown here at the 4 o'clock position and then on the back you've got the uh, nicely engraved case back. Uh, it says waveform NH35 automatic titanium and sapphire crystal and then you got this nice anchor and wave design and it looks like a circular brushing on the bottom of the case. Um, the bezel on this one. Like I said, this is a prototype. So the thing that's changing on this is that there it's currently a 90 click and it's got quite a bit of slop in it. Uh, but they're going to bump this down to a 60 click and hopefully get rid of all that slop. So that'll be that'll be something nice to see. Uh, I think it's a good trade-off. Uh, the insert itself, it's a ceramic insert with a matte black background. The uh, kind of these these lines here and all the numbers and indexes are all slightly raised and uh, polished. So it gives a really cool effect, I think. And then you do have a loomed pip up here at the 12 o'clock position. Um, it is kind of like a creamy color. But overall, it looks pretty good. And then, like I said, the teeth on this are machined super nice. Lots and lots of grip on this. Um, it's got a really nice action to it, um, especially for a, a titanium watch. You know, I know they kind of feel a little tinny at times uh, just because of the material, but this one actually feels pretty good. The crystal on this one, it's a uh, double dome sapphire, and it's got five layers of anti-reflective coating on the underside, which I really like to see. It cuts down on the glare, and it doesn't look like garbage after like a year or so. Um, definitely, I prefer this setup, and it, it looks really, really good on this watch, guys. Um, the dial. So the dial on this one, it's a flat black. It does come in a couple other different colorways. Uh, I'll let you guys check those out. Um, but I like this this kind of skeletonized uh, setup. It looks really, really cool. Um, and all these, these outlines that you see, they're all loomed. So uh, I'll pop up a loom shot here. And you can see it's not great, guys. The uh, I think the regular models are a little bit better. Um, but this kind of skeletonized setup just doesn't work very good. It looks really cool on initial burst, but it fades really quickly, and this is one of the worst uh, looms I've got in my watch box now. So getting back to the dial, you can see you've got uh, raised indexes everywhere, uh, except the 3 o'clock position where you have a date window. It's a little slightly off. I'm, this is the first one I've seen that's like that. I'm just guessing that's just, just this model. Um, so they'll, they'll have that fixed. Um, you got the nice Delos D, and then you've got Waveform Automatic 300 meter because this is a 300 meter dive watch guys and that's pretty cool um, the movement inside uh, it, you can probably guess what it is it's the Seiko NH35 uh, it does hack it does hand wind um, no complaints with the movement especially at this price I think uh, 
you know they got to make some cuts here and there to get it to hit the price that they're they're selling at and i don't you know i, I really don't think the nh35 is a uh, a negative when you when you're talking about a watch so i know i don't have the bracelet on it but i'd like to talk about it pretty quick it's uh, like i said a full titanium bracelet it's got female end links which is nice they are solid end, end links it's got solid links uh, milled clasp so i've heard good things about it and uh, it bumps the total weight to like 115 grams so it's super lightweight guys all right guys so there you go that's the Dalos waveform i think it's a really cool watch guys 300 meter titanium uh it comes in a pretty cool colorway i think and uh yeah if you are interested in this i'm going to leave their link down below i believe this is in pre-order stage uh definitely check them out guys i this is one of my favorite watches i've reviewed it's very very cool very interesting uh, definitely something a little different with this this style layout, but even even the normal ones I think look awesome So if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, uh, please consider subscribing or leaving a thumbs up uh, If you want to leave a question or comment down below, I will do my best to get to it um, Like I said, this is a review unit So this will be on the way to the next reviewer by the time this one gets uploaded But I'll, I'll do my best to uh, to answer any questions. All right guys uh, Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya